Hello, and good morning. All right, so let's try out another mod here real quick. Uh, so just so you know, this run more than likely will not go a terribly long time. I'm not terribly good at this thing, mostly because I don't remember most of it. I went through the tutorials again just to kind of get a general sense for how stuff works again, actually. Uh, this is the second time that I'm trying it, because the first time I completely couldn't remember the controls and everybody just got utterly annihilated. So uh, yeah, with a uh, little remembrance of what's going on, this is the uh, uh, FO Tactics um, uh, Equilibrium mod. Uh, another one by Rakes. And I uh, got co-commenter off in the background here. So if there's a little baby yelling, such things happen. Also, by the way, there's 65, because apparently 482 is not an acceptable number. Yeah, it looks All right, like you he's mutated just been to Taco Bell. Skin, sacks of irradiated flesh. Listen up! I am Paladin Rychek. I am in charge of training you backward maggots in the art of war and survival. In my Where's time the in the Brotherhood, I have personally trained more than 50 initiates, and I am proud to say almost 14 of them are still alive and kicking. The elders <laughs> have ordered me to mold you flabby, hip-slapping, berry-picking, rat-rubbing, brown yeah, kissers the shirt. <laughs> into capable warriors. And I am going to do it, mm. even if it kills you. I will teach you how to eat, sleep, walk, talk, shoot, spit, like a Brotherhood soldier. First level of training will be recruitment. Although they don't actually get we'll uniforms until a uh, few parts in, I believe. Primates are ready for an honest life's work. It is your duty to remind the village elders that if they want continued protection from the scum of this world, they will uphold their end of the bargain by providing resources and their best and brightest for Brotherhood training. Now get your weak kneed superstitious, soft skin, uneducated butts to the armory. You will be issued basic weapons and armor. There are three simple rules to follow with Brotherhood equipment. If you damage your weapon, you will spend a week in the box. If you damage your armor, you will spend a week in the box. If you lose either, I'll kill you myself. <laughs> oh, what a happy group. Yeah, you don't and actually start with these thing, people. Ladies. Huh? Welcome to the Brotherhood of Steel. Got a warning Any helmet. That's why I'm missing an eye. My name is General Barnicky. I okay. So what he's basically saying is just go through and clear out the map and do that sort of thing. All right. So a couple things. Uh, it can actually be in uh, active time or essentially either in active time or it can be in uh, uh, turn based. So do individual turn based why not basically you have options for you know setting up ambushes and stuff like that it's just the old controls and everything didn't really lend itself terribly well to that all right so we've got a uh... oh wait they put you over there like hey check out this dog but, but yeah so this one is your sniper sort they came out pretty decently equipped all things considered this one's the medic sort. What the hell is that? Actually, a picture of the guy from Grey's Anatomy. I think that might actually be, be that. Uh, that's that's freaking hilarious. This naked moose. Far off land of Canada. Show. Oh, hold on. Can read it? No, it, it. You can't read it and learn anything. And a scalpel. Uh, we're gonna leave him with a, with a pistol and first aid kit, I think. Yeah. Uh. So Steve here is built out to, to be a melee build, uh, getting them an axe as soon as possible. Um, what is this? Why do you even need that? Yeah, for some reason they uh, decided to bring alcohol with them because, wow, they are apparently a very severe drinker. <laughs> this is a weapon, I assume? No, actually, yeah, that's definitely good. Let's put that there. Seems like more of a Steve sort of thing. Buy the cash. Money. This happy pie. 
And some food and stuff. I don't know if any of that actually affects anything, but, you know. Ledger's life? No. Uh, where's that? There. Gonna get weird getting used to the controls because you gotta use the uh, keys here. There. Leave you go there. Right, Steve is gonna go talk to these folks. Greetings to the Brotherhood of Steel. You are speaking with Charon, elder and tribal father to Brahmin Wood. Okay, so they want stuff gone, basically. That's, you know, it's fallout, of course, that's what's going on. Okay. You. Prone, gonna go sneaky. Yeah, make some... So. And I'll sneak. So I'm gonna have them go up there first. Um, apparently Child has decided to go for a swim in the Legos. Actually kind of jealous. We're gonna just generally follow up here. Scouting. First shots fired, so now they uh, now they're in this kind of mode. So Be about doing a double shot here. That's uh, pretty much all of their points. Let me get away a little bit and bitten. Crap. So this is a. Absolutely fantastic start. And I no longer have enough points to do that. Fantastic. I think I might actually have to do this in real time, because... going amazing. This. Rover watch mode. Run up and slash this thing. Which is fine. Be that way. That one. Can't do anything else there, so they're gonna go all sneaky like over the side. Guy got a little bit injured, so I'm actually just gonna have him go over here because I do know they perma die. Okay, so basically, they can't actually um, get completely fixed up right now. Uh, they, as you saw, it takes 10, they only had like six, so they end up spending more over time, I believe. Now that ends up working. This guy, no. One downside of doing it this way is it doesn't seem to tell you how many points you're going to end up using. Eh. I can vaguely see it, but... You're going to go over there expect to take out... Okay. Steve is stupidly sturdy, so... He or she or whatever the hell they are should have no problems. And... Off a little bit. I'm just expecting to run over here and handle this problem without... Very quiet. Just shrugs it off because it's Steve. Alright, well, 
I didn't mean for them to move, but as I said before, the controls are something that's going to take a little bit of getting used to. Dodge that. So we might as well here. <laughs> uh, awesome. All that. And you just keep moving on that way. So probably about the same way as everywhere else. Now one thing you may have noticed, uh, there's no actual calculation for stuff in the way or whatever else. I mean, there's... it's kind of sort of there, but I mean... Oh, I don't want to put a tumble in the background here. So what I mean by that. Um, when there's stuff in the way, like, say they're taking a shot, either it hits or it doesn't. It doesn't, like, hit the thing in the way or something like that. You run on down here. Apparently I can't change into a run while they're casually sauntering over. Seems to take the same amount of points regardless. knocked out. And they melee stuff on ya. He he's had a shotgun this whole time? Yeah, first off, take that. Take it off. Take that. Let's just kind of run up to this guy. They're gonna run and finish this guy off. I don't know if I'm actually gonna be able to finish this in one part here. I technically have it on a mode that, uh, that I'm not allowed to save in the middle of the fight, but it sounds like little ones are getting a little bit riled up on this end. To the end of the fight. Yep. capacity here. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay, so I don't have to worry about them. I'm gonna get first shot, but that's just... Hmm. mode, but... Yeah, so they're automatically going to take a shot if it's at least 66%. Um, you know, we should probably change that to 30. Huh? I told you to run. Being so casual about this. But yeah, there, there's no question as far as whether that's the character I'm thinking of. So my wife uh, had me watch that the entirety of that show a little while ago. And uh, yeah, I, I personally prefer to call it Final Destination Hospital. Because it's basically a like doctor drama show, except freaking everyone gets killed off. It's kind of ridiculous. Like... is 45%. I'm actually a little bit oiled right now because I'm used to 45% just being flat out insta-kill because it's in knots with shotguns. But yeah, no, it is an absolutely ridiculous show. 
because it starts off all nice and everything, and then they're like, oh, you know, the character got caught in a random bus crash off in the background, it's all sad. The character had a terminal disease, it's all sad. Oh, you know, then everybody just got attacked in their workplace, and then there was a storm, and it just ruined everything. Or, I kid you not, no. Oh. Okay, Steve just got shotgunned in the back. Way to go, Doctor. Probably apologize before he eats you. Um, but yeah, no. So, what, are, what they end up doing... Uh... Da, da, da. So... Like, w one of the more well-known characters, and uh, actually the last part that I saw, uh, they basically just have one of the characters get killed off. Pretty much they go and they're doing their whole doctor thing, and they... They have a crap ton of folks and everything. Because uh, they're just kind of driving along, everything's all well and good. And, uh... Just randomly, a freaking semi comes and runs them over. And then they get to the hospital, and there's just this inner monologue the entire time, like, oh! You know, this... Okay. I don't know how the damage of all that just turned out. But he's just having this inner monologue of how he's supposed to be... You know, fixed the entire time. So, already took her shot. And it... It winds up being this whole tragic thing of like... It's completely avoidable, but they end up getting killed off anyway. Because they forgot to do a thing, and then... All the parts after that are just his wife being all depressed all the time. Oof. Yeah, for... Owled. Right. And so far, so good. Not nearly as horribly tragic as I would have expected. Um, I am expecting to need a little bit of um, music in the background here. This is awfully quiet. I could have sworn there was background music. Could be a little bit more sneaky, but you seem to be doing alright. Oh! Ow. Trader, and what are you? <laughs> okay, they just got at each other, I guess. Nope, don't store. Turn. At least cover seems to be very effective. We we'll run over here. You run straight forward because that's your speed thing. Okay, so Steve's not in great shape here. Uh, two. Where's two at? Yep. Do not hit Steve. Oh, okay. It was gonna hit Steve. Steve dodged and it ended up hitting anyway. Well, hi! I check out this sweet Lego, though! Okay, you are running over here. <laughs> I see it, I see it. And there we go, problem solved. Uh, so... They're fine. Needs to run over here, though. Man, this is... I really should set it to real time. <laughs> Ooh, crap. He almost killed the doctor guy. Supposed to get hit by a bus. Mm, this way. Open that. And...
little bit worried that she would be in the way. Of the He's bandaged. I assume that means, yeah, it looks like he has less E now. Over here. Oh, that's good. Okay, yeah, that's an item. I need to remember to have somebody pick that up. After this guy, I'm basically gonna split it for a second part, and then... Ooh, never mind. That might be the end of Steve right there. Uh, and he's out of healing stuff. But yeah, so after this, I'm gonna end up uh, splitting it, putting some different background music in the back, and... Uh, Current music and stuff. 